Great here. Welcome to the continuing adventures in Tome Tales of Majael. So, I took a little bit of a break after the last uh, just fiasco with with the arcane blade that was just just banging my head against the wall. I needed to take a break. And what I've decided to do is go back to a more uh, defensive class. I've decided to go with the um, Karnak, which is uh, Suburbs of Human. Bulwark, which is sword and board. So I'm about to assign the my initial stats here. Uh, the bulwark is strength and dexterity, so I'm going to bump up both of those, um, and then we'll we'll just points as needed when we want to get things. Um, I definitely um, this is weird. I removed a point from weapon mastery, and I can't put it back in there without adding more strength. So it's interesting that you can actually get. Uh, skill points and skills without the stats from your from your character creation who knew but I'm definitely going to get let's see I also get one extra category point um, as a Karnak so let's see unarmed melee and ranged weapons by 15 I'm definitely gonna pump that up oh I forgot to take the two points out of huh, I can't unlearn those two points they gave me so many points I couldn't unlearn them okay so, I have two points in armor. What can I do? Let's see. Conditioning, poisons, disease. Yes, please give me that. And I have one extra generic point, which I won't be able to use because, like I said, uh, let's see. Field control. This is dexterity. Okay, so we have jump away, three grids, sense foes around you, mighty kick, and I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So I'm definitely going to go for sword and board. Uh, let's see, shield, hit the target with two shield strikes. Yeah, let's go shield strikes. What do I want to be my... Let's see, this is a sustain. Definitely want to go for that. Rush. I do like rushing in. I'm just going to take one of each. Why not? I'm going to leave the category point alone for now. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. And... Yeah, the one generic point I can't assign. Okay. Do you accept these changes? Yes, I do. Um, so the character's name is Agatha. Uh, don't hate me, but I've been watching a bunch of Vikings recently, and uh, Lagatha Lothbrok is awesome. So this is my my tome version of, of Lagatha. Okay, let's get our healing infusion actually on. There it is. Okay. And then let's set this to always use when available because I always want this to come back up even in the middle of combat actually does it take a yeah it takes one turn so let me change that let's do it when, uh, when no enemies are visible Okay, let's see. One is shield pummel, two is rush, three is block. Got it. Okay. Oh, the good old Trollmire. How I've missed you. Oh, die already. There we go. Yeah, the, oh, that Arcane Blade stuff was just annoying. It seems like a good class. Um, I'm, I'm, obviously, I was just doing something completely wrong. Um, I've done some reading on it. Uh, the, some strats actually uh, go for a sword and board or uh, two-handed simply to lower the, the chance of the proc, uh, the, the spell proc, because of the... Why do I have... Oh, right, because I still have points that I have to assign. Um, to lower the chance of the proc, but, you know, increase your your defense. I need to back up a bit here. There, that's good. That way, uh, you don't run out of mana as quickly, and and you, when you take hits, it's not as, as hard as it was when I was playing, but how do I get through? There we go. So I might go back to that sometime in the future. 
But usually in my MMOs, I play tankier characters. I'm used to just, you know, bashing my face against everything and winning that way, I guess. Southeast is Fox. There we go. There's our trolls. Okay, let's line them up. There, that's better. Okay, block. Okay, there was a combo in here. Okay, raise your shield into blocking position for one turn, reducing the damage of all physical attacks by 20. If you block all, the attacker will be vulnerable for a deadly counterattack. Okay, and then the counterattack would be a shield pummel. So, what I want to do is, whenever possible, block right into a shield pummel. Block, shield pummel. Ah, much better. Iron long sword. Oh, I've been picking up things and not even realizing it. Let's get those gauntlets on. Let's get the rough leather belt on. Iron long sword is better than the one that I've got, so let's get that one. Let's just transmogrify this right away. Yeah, I just have, just have to remember the, uh, the bulwark. I think of all the classes that I've played so far, I like the uh, the bulwark as well. Let's get both of these. There's that one class where you actually uh, dual wield shields, which <laughs> gives you a lot of defense. I like that one as well. Yeah, we'll go for the magical one with strength. And we will... Uh, Transmogrify this one. Okay, now that I've got... It gave me two strength. The question is, does that give me the capability to do weapon mastery? Yes, it does. So let's get the point into weapon mastery, which increases our physical power and weapon damage when using swords, axes, or maces. Also on this, I'm going to try to go thematic. Um... And uh, I'm, I'm basically going to look for a one-handed axe that I want to wield, and if not a one-handed axe, then a sword, just because that's what uh, the weapons that the Vikings used on the show. I'm silly, what can I say? Here I'm making, uh, making the game harder for myself, even, even though I haven't even come close to beating it. Go. Uh, let's charge into that. There. Ah, our first level. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Generic points one, and I can't put. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's my next? Armor is at 26. I'm not worried about that. Constitution, 23. That's quite a ways off. Yeah. Talent category. Uh, effective use level. Why, why can't I get more of this? Oh. I have to be level 4. Okay. Strength 24, Dexterity 16. Okay, I'm not worried about any of that. Let's see, this takes Constitution of 14. So let's pump that up. Yeah. I definitely just want to cap this out. This is awesome. Okay. What is it? Vitality. Mainly for that, that health bonus oh, when you get low health. So let's see. So my main, uh, this is regenerate stamina faster. That's fine where it is. 
my charge is just for closing. I I don't want to use this as a main attack. So my 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 base uh, is the three one combo, which is block. Does this give me my block? No, this is my sustain. Okay, so this is my basically this is my main attack, the shield defense. So let's pump that up to two. This is based off of strength. So yeah, let's just put one into each of those. I'm done with this level. Uh, let's move that to normal inventory. Definitely move this into place and transmorphify the old one. One too far there. Come on, close in. There we go. Yeah, that that charge charge block hit is really nice. Okay. Supposedly these sometimes, yeah, whenever you get a sealed door like this, usually it's because it's telling you that there's something a little stronger in there. But I think I can take whatever's in there. I mean, I haven't really been using my, my heals yet. This That's how nice the defense is so far. Charge into him. I think that point into the uh, the weapon uh, where it increases my weapon damage is really helping. Okay, to the north, way to the north. This is my named. No, it's a hedge wizard. He's definitely who I want to take on first, though. Okay. Reach out up. Reach out again. Okay, definitely going to be hit. One random physical effect, so let's just hit him. This also reduces damage, no? Yeah. By 14%. Okay. Block. Hit him. I don't need to heal. Got that shield up. This is where I need to heal and regen. Pop that to take less damage. There we go. That was nice. Uh, another generic point that I can't use. Let's see. Level 4 on that one, Constitution. Yeah. Let's drop two more into Constitution. And since I'm doing decently in Strength right now, I'm going to put the other one into Dexterity, which gives me a bit more defense, a bit more range defense, a bit more accuracy. And get my generic point there, plus another point into my Shield Bash, or Shield Pummel. There we go. Just giving me. There we go. Yes. And what did the hedge, hedge wizard give me? Summertide fail. Bounced iron mace of projection. Accuracy defense, disarm immunity, damage of mind. Well, 
I know I said I would go thematic, but this is clearly better, so. Uh, Summertide fail. Light resistances, light radius, healing modifier. I will definitely take that. Let's uh, transmorgify this one. Yeah, I don't think any of those I care about. What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. On activation, what does this do? When wield worn. Ah, this is a ranged attack. That's nice. Okay. So, like that. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha that, ha, that's very lovely. My first amulet. Don't care what it is. More defense, though, so. Stacking up that defense. Force troll to the south. There we go. How does this do? Negative 20 physical damage, okay. Based off of dexterity. Oh, oh that's why I want to bump up dexterity. Got it. Okay, to the north. That's nice. To the north again. Okay, down to the next level we go. to help we use a technique to make the portal fizzle or start the lone alchemist will be sent to Zigger to be dealt with properly hmm. now I'll just do normal protection on this one <laughs> who killed oh the he killed the, the mouse that's nice oh crap I lost him Oh, this is not good. Where are you? my fail do? I just realized that this came up. Call light. Okay. Well, let's level up real quick. I think I'm just going to put one into each. I get my second technique for post. Increases duration of Counter-Strike debuff. Increases the number of Counter-Strikes you can perform. That's nice. Uh, but I'm actually going to uh, pick up the uh, Regenerate Life. I'll pick up. I'll probably pick up the uh, the repost after this. Come on. You yeah, wuss. Come on, where are you going? Ah! Oh, jeez. It's taking forever. Okay. Well, I 
guess we're just following the yellow brick road here. Yes, there's a giant gray mouse to the north. No, there isn't. Keep walking. Yes, I know. Okay, it's down this way. There it is. Good deal. Let's see. Magic by two. Staff Mastery. Channel Staff. Stone Touch. Uh, nothing in there I want. Best one here is Dexterity by one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rough with the... Uh, Mighty Rough Weather Swing of Power. Me. There we go. Prox the Mighty. Okay, there's the boss of the entire... of the Trollmire. There's nothing there I can add, so... What is... Font of Life? So I actually want to pull him back to here. So I'm going to wait right here. There we go. There we go. <sighs> I've got to get the runes, so there's my Rod of Recall. Yeah, the extra area down here. Bill's Tree Trunk. Ah! Great Mall, 25. River's Fury, which is... What is this? Exotics Mastery? It's physical. Oh, it's a trident. It's both hands. Darn it. Uh, yeah, nothing there I want. Let's transmogrify the iron longsword. Yeah. Transmogrify all the gems. There we go. And let's finish up this area before ending the video. Yeah, this is going a lot better. And up to level 6 already. Okay, so... 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Get the point in there. This increases physical power, and it increases off of dexterity. Yeah, it increases weapon damage by 25 when using daggers. I'm not going to be using daggers, so no. Oh, I get three class points. So let's put a point into... This is... Uh, let's see, what is this? Pile on. This one is a sustain. Increases the focus of your strikes. Okay, I like sustains. And let's definitely get repost. And another point into our main attack. There we go. Yes, I accept these. Where is my... Okay, move this over here. Let's set this one to always auto-use when no enemies are visible. So there, we got our second sustain. Nice health regen, nice stamina regen. Zap him, rush in. I'm guessing this is going to... Yeah, I think... We... 
yeah, the trees spawn the bees, so I gotta get rid of the tree first. Yeah, nothing in each of those. Darn it. And... Do I dare do the next section? Ooh. Hmm. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Rod of Recall. And the reason for that is because I'm going to... Uh, I I don't want to rush in there and then die. Let's at least go out. I've got, it looks like, 77 gold. So, if I go into the town here... Let's do a quick round of shopping. Let's see... Yeah, I definitely want a better regeneration. So, this regeneration goes off of my dexterity, I think? No, cunning. Mm. Well, this one's 94 over 5, and mine is 60 over 5. Hmm. It's a sun infusion. Right, nah, not worried about sun infusion. Wild is random mental effect. Okay. Well, it's better than what I've got presently, but I'm going to be looking to uh, definitely get better than that. Oops, transmorph by that. Use this one. Let's replace the other regeneration. No, I'm not going to do the arena right away. Miner's pick. One strength, not bad. I'm not looking for it to replace a... Uh, the lamp. Nothing there. Nope, don't want ranged right now. No, I don't want to do that. Iron Helm of Strength. Let's see, what do I have now? So it'll be a little bit more armor, and I'll get another two strength. Penetral. Well, I already have a magic helm. I don't have a magic chess piece, so let's see. I can afford this one, which gives me another five armor plus one defense. Yeah, let's take that one. See, I got 13 gold, nothing left there that I could pick up. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to buy it anyway. 554 gold, ouch. But I think it's going to be here forever. I think these, uh, these shops don't update. Okay, nothing there that I can buy right now. Let's take a look at that axe once, or uh, pickaxe once more. Yeah, I've only got 13. I can't, I can't buy that. Okay. Well, I know this is going a bit long, but let's at least get set up for the next video. By going into the Runes of Corpool. And with that, I'm going to put a cut in here where I jump into... Yeah, let's do another uh, protection with a bunch of mice and uh, stuff. Well, this will be fun and interesting. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time. Have fun.